everybody, it's Bar from the Shabby Tree where I try to inspire you all to be unique in your home and everyday fashion. Okay, I'm here to share some quick tips. People have been asking me to share some ideas for dough bowls. Now, these are not going to be ideas necessarily just for a dough bowl. There are things I use for dough bowls, my wooden long um, boxes I have. I'm going to share some quick tips, things I use in my home. You're going to run with it. You're going to change it up. You're going to incorporate it into your home according to your style. So first of all, I have a variety of shapes and sizes of things here. So the first one is, this is just a round wooden platter, bowl, whatever you want to call it. This is round. It's like a flat. Do you see it? I absolutely love this. I change it out all the time for different things. So right now for Christmas, I'm kind of giving it more, I don't even know if I would say it's more primitive look. There's two different things. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do with this. So first of all, now, here at the Shabby Tree, I've shared um, ideas I used for my dough bowls before. I showed you some things I did for fall and summer. I used a lot of dried hydrangeas in my dough bowls and lace. I love incorporating lace into my dough bowls. And I like using just a greenery, an everyday greenery, and then I'll add to it for different seasons. So this is just, this was really a green garland from Hobby Lobby right here. So what I did was I cut it into pieces. I loved it because it was long, it was flowy. I just loved it. It wasn't just like a Brick. So I cut it into two pieces and I put it just around like this. Do you see that? How simple is that? Okay. And then I wanted it a little bit more Christmassy because this I keep in this all year long. And then I'll add different things throughout the season. So for right now, these basic little sprigs I got from Hobby Lobby right here, they've got some red berry, a pine cone. This looks more like Christmas to me. So all I'll do is I'll add three little sprigs going around just like this. So one, two, and three, and bam, it gives it a little bit of a Christmas color. Do you see that? And it's looking a little bit more on the primitive side. So you have some options here. One, you could put a beautiful battery-operated candle in it because you know if you're following the shabby tree, yes, I'm obsessed with my battery-operated candles. You can add a bottle, battery operated candle. And come on, guys, you see how pretty that is? And simple, so simple. And you can find these wooden round bowls anywhere. You can even find these if you search. You can find these in thrift stores. But Hobby Lobby has baskets, bowls, anything you need. So that is that. But if you don't want a candle in it, you've got a bunch of different options. One, you can always, which we like here at the Shabby Tree, uh, is battery operated strand, strand lights. Do you see that? Now this is a very thin little wire, so you're not gonna really see the wire. You can wrap this around your greenery, hide the wire in there, all that kind of stuff. Hide your little battery pack under your greenery. I don't wanna spend time and get that all real pretty, but I'm giving you an idea. Now, for Christmas, say you want something Christmassy. So grab a pretty Santa or a snowman or something like that. Stand them in the middle. Do you see that? How cute is that? This would be pretty in the center of a table. It'd be pretty on top of a cabinet. You can use a variety of Santas. You can use three Santas. You can put trees in the center. Trees would be awesome too. This is so stinking cute. So I like the lights around it. Guys, look how cute that is. Okay, that's one option, right? So we're gonna set that one aside just like that, okay. Now, say we don't have a round. Say we have an actual dough bowl, just like this, a dough bowl. I got this one from Hobby Lobby when it was the fall items were out and these were marked down 40% off. So this is a dough bowl I found from Hobby Lobby. Now, I went to Hobby Lobby today. I grabbed some basic pine sprigs. Do you see how pretty these are? They have pine cones in them. It's just basic spruce sprigs. I loved them. Okay, and not to mention all the Christmas is half off. So. What I like to do is, you've got your basic dough bowl right here. I like to mix up textures. So I've got my dough bowl. I will add like a lace doily right here, another lace doily over here. You've seen me do this here at the Shabby Tree before. For summer, I love putting my dried hydrangeas in here. I love putting my battery operated candles. That is why I love battery operated candles because I can put these in with my dried hydrangeas. You can't put a real candle in with your dried hydrangeas. So I would put that like that. Now you can add your greenery sprigs. Now these are a little big, but I love them. So I would add some greenery sprigs just like this. I'm just going to put two in this one, just like this. So we've got one and two, bam, just like that, right? 
Now I still think, now you don't have to add anything else. You could add a couple more little sprigs, just like the little red berry ones. You can put the berry ones in to give it a little bit pop of red for the Christmas. You could put just all greenery, but I like to add things in it for Christmas. So do you have some ornaments? You can make your own ornaments. You know we're doing that left and right here at the shabby tree. You can make rag dolls with the styrofoam balls like we've done at the a shabby tree before. These are from Dollar General. They're three or three, uh, a pack of three ornaments for $3, but you see the red and black buffalo? You can add that and bam, that gives you some red for Christmas. Just add some basic ornaments just like that. This is getting a very primitive look. This looks primitive. So you can add them here and there. Just add some ornaments throughout. Don't even have to add ornaments here at the shabby tree. We've made these little candy looking um, things. This is just a round container. If you eat mints or anything like that, the round candy container, put some material on the end, a little twine and voila, you've got some basic handmade little mint candies. Well, I'm calling them mint candies. Just like that, these would be all handmade. Do you see how cute that is? And it screams Christmas. It's simple. You just change it out. You change your greenery when Christmas is over. Put some basic greenery like I just showed you from Hobby Lobby, the garland. Cut it up. Lay it around in here. Use your dried hydrangeas. Okay. So that's the dough bowl. We did the round one. We did the basic um, dough bowl just like that. Now, say you're not primitive. Say you're vintage. Say you want something more vintage looking. So you've got a wooden dough bowl. You can mix the wooden dough bowl to have a vintage look. Look at this. Now, a lot of you might have seen this on Pinterest. I've seen this on Pinterest. How amazing is this? If you're following the shabby tree, you know I love the vintage. You know I'm obsessed with my vintage Santas. And I do collect old vintage ornaments. I love them, guys. They're just special to me. They're very, very delicate, but I love them. A unique way to display them is in a bowl. It does not have to be a dough bowl. A big, beautiful silver platter would be awesome. Put your vintage ornaments on it. Put a little vintage tree. I got this today in Hobby Lobby. But do you see how you can mix it? You can mix a wooden bowl, have the vintage ornaments and a vintage tree, and it, it looks good. That's another idea. Okay. Also, so we don't have to have basic dough bowls. Now, if you're crafty with wood, you could make the next one. This one I found at a local thrift store. All it is is a long rectangle box. Now, come on, you guys could make this. It's just some pieces of wood. You can make yourself a long rectangle box. I wanted to try something a little different. These were amazing trees I found in Walmart. I loved them because they're double-sided. It just looks like a beautiful woodsy tree. So no matter what, if I have this, this goes on the top of my kitchen counter. I have like a little raised part of my kitchen counter so you can see it from the table end and then in our sink area. So this is where this goes. It goes right above on my top of my kitchen counter. Now right now, I have greenery. This is not even Christmas greenery, but I didn't want to change it out. So I'm leaving this, just this basic greenery from Hobby Lobby. Do you see it? It's just basic green. I'm going to leave this in here for Christmas. What I'm going to do is, I've got my trees in here. I've got my battery operated candles for some lights. And then I'll put some red vintage balls in it, or I'll put the little red and black um buffalo print balls in it just like this. Just something to add a little bit of pop of Christmas color, but leave the basic greenery in. Then when Christmas is over, I don't have to change out the greenery. I can just add to it. Take the trees out if you want, but here at the shabby tree, you know I leave trees up all year long, so you know these won't be coming out of my box. So that's another idea right there, long boxes. This would be amazing. I have a long farm table in my dining room. I love this on the farm table because it's long and it would go right down the table. And I love it because, so you see how the trees, it looks great from both sides. So I do love that. Okay, so we've got that one. now. My last one is, we've done everything wood, wood, wood. How about an old silver platter? You know if you're following the shabby tree, I'm obsessed with my silver platter. So what I did was I took a basic. Guys, look how pretty this is. Okay, I took, I'm gonna show you what I did. I took 
a basic silver platter. Now this is the first year I've done this one. Um, I have my silver platter that I love from my local Goodwill. Do you see? Just like this, you see all the glitter falling off. A basic round silver platter. Yes, I added a doily on top, a beautiful lace doily. And then, I don't know, I was in Walmart and my dining room is like a lot of flocked tree. This is a flocked tree. I have a flocked garland on my faux mantle over here. So. I wanted this. This was a reasonable price in Walmart. I brought it home. I wasn't even sure what I was doing with it. I was looking at this round tray and I said, voila, how about I just put that on top? Do you see how cute that is? I put that on top. My dining room theme, I'm kind of got a snowy look, snowmen going on. So I have all my snowmen. So I thought, why can I not put the snowmen on the, now this round tray, my dining room is a long rectangle farm table, but I'm going to keep this big round silver platter with the flox uh, wreath on top with the snowman. And then I just have my gold bottle brush trees right here. I put the bottle brush trees next to the snowman, just like this. And then I wanted some light. Now you don't have to put the candles. You again can add your battery operated string lights, just like this. And you can put this right around your wreath, just like this. And you can have the wreath all lit up. How pretty is that? But I do like my candles. So what I did was I had just put my three candles. I like the three and I like them to be different heights. I put the three candles like that. Do you just see the pretty glow it gives? The battery operated candles are amazing. And then I just have it all just like this. Guys, it's so pretty. All I'm here to do is show you some things I'm using in my house. I'm here to tell you, do not be afraid to experiment. Use what you want. Use what you have in your house. Get creative. Have fun. Be unique. Experiment with, with different rectangle boxes, round boxes, a silver platter, anything you've got. Just add some stuff on it. Get crazy and decorate. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed my quick tip. I hope I gave you some ideas to use into your dough bowls and your silver platters. Everybody, I sure hope you're all following the shabby tree, and I hope you have a good evening, and thanks for watching. Have a good night.